Hi, and welcome to my channel once again. This is Daniel for DVibes Entertainment. I have another video for you, and today we're going to be looking at how you can create a reflection using Premiere Pro. It could be a mirror reflection, it could be any other reflection, but how do we achieve that in Premiere Pro? Without further ado, let's get into our software and get started. As you can see, I already have my object on my timeline, which is a bottle. You could use any other object, maybe a cup, maybe a keto. First things first you want to do is you want to remove the white background. As you can see, I want to remove this white background. Or you could also use, choose to use the white background, but I'll prefer using the black background. I'll go ahead and cut out the white background. What I'll do is I'll just click on my object, then go to my effects control, go down to my free draw pencil right here, and I'll just come and start masking out edges just like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rush this up so that I don't waste a lot of time. Okay, so as you can see, I have removed my white background right there. So the next thing I want to do is I want to reduce, I want to scale down on my bottom. So I'll just go to my effects control, just scale it a little bit, just like that. And then go to position and just take it slightly up, just like that, as you can see. Okay, so this is our object. As you can see, I only have the black background. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create another duplicate of the bottle. So what I'll do, I'll just break that out and then get on my cursor and slide it up to create another layer. On that layer, the second layer that you have created on your track two is you'll just click and nest it. Okay, so after nesting, I'll say, okay, so I have a nest here. So the next thing you're going to do is you'll go to your effects right here and then type in vertical, vertical flip. When I scroll down here, my vertical effect is right here. So I'll just get the vertical effect and drop it into my nest. As you can see, I already have my bottle flipped. I'll just go back to my effects control, go to position and slide down that bottle. Okay, just like that. As you can see, I already have a reflection here, but I still want to add some more effects so that it looks a little bit more natural as a reflection. I'll go back to my effects right here and then I'll just cancel out this vertical effect and I'll go for the linear or linear wipe. Linear wipe is right here. And I'll just drop it on to track two where I nested. Again, I'll go back to my effects control and then I'll go down to linear wipe and start working with these effects right here. One, I'll go with the angle, which I'll take down to zero. Just type in zero and say enter. And then I'll go to the transition and work around with the transition depending on the kind of object that you have. Okay, so I'll just work with the transition, maybe say, give it around a 30. And then I'll go down to feather and increase the feather right there, just like that. As you can see, starting to give us a little bit more of a reflection, but it's still lacking. I'll go back to my effects and then look for Gussain Blur. When you scroll down here, you should be seeing that Gussain Blur. So I'll just get the Gussain Blur and drop it into my nested clip on video two. Then again, I'll go back to my effects control, go down and look for Gussain Blur, which is right here. I'll go to blurriness and work around with the blurriness here. Now I'll just increase the number. You don't want to do it so much, okay? You just want a relatively 
nice reflection that will give your object something that looks natural. That is our reflection and that is how you can create a reflection of any object using Premiere Pro. Well, that is it from me. I hope this video will be of good help for you. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. See you in another video.